Okay, so today we're looking at Hunter in Classic, and I'm really excited to talk about this one because I think Hunter is one of the most underrated classes uh, in all of Hearthstone Classic, and I think specifically so because of its control decks. Uh, let's start with this one. Uh, control now was not something you really saw back in the day, or at least it wasn't popularized. I, I don't remember ever coming across this on the ladder. I still barely ever see it. Uh, and this is kind of the evolution of a lot of viewers uh, who've watched this channel building this thing that's really good. You know, it started with uh, the skeleton of it coming from Sakrasta. Uh, people like Great Balance came in with some cool ideas. The Faceless Manipulator here. Probably so many people I, I can't even name. Uh, but let's talk a bit about how the deck works and then I'll tell you why it is so good. Uh, so Control Hunter. All right, you're used to going to the face. That's what the hero power does. So how do we run this thing? Well, We've got stuff in here that's going to be very good at single target removal. So Freezing Trap, Deadly Shot, right? Uh, and we can combo this a lot of times with Faceless Manipulator. This is a, a big part of why it's in the deck. You can copy something, uh, maybe an Ancient of War, uh, you know, a big taunt, something like that, a Ragnaros, whatever it is, and then Deadly Shot or Freezing Trap if it's appropriate, sometimes even Hunter's Mark, right? Another good piece of single target removal. Uh, this also combos very well with things like Wild Pyromancer, which starts to get into board clears. So Explosive Trap, a very good board clear against something like an aggressive Hunter, uh, a Zoo, anyone who's going to try to build the board wide, a Shaman, something like that. Uh, tracking, a super good card for grabbing the correct piece of removal so uh yeah if you need to go wide grab an explosive trap if not grab a freezing trap and if you can combo it with the pyromancer early sometimes with coin as well it's another great way of just sweeping the board um so really you're just going to have so many tools at your disposal for removing whatever uh pretty much any class can throw at you uh, there's even specific things in here like Deadly Shot that will be very, very good at dealing with a concealed auctioneer, uh, something you always have to consider. And then because you have tracking, you're way more likely to actually hit that. It's pretty much four cards uh, that you could hit to give you a really good chance to, to take out an auctioneer by that five, six mana. Uh, and everything else is just like high value minions that are going to be able to deal a lot of damage uh, over time as you use that cheap removal. So if you can wipe their board with something like an explosive trap or pick up a, a big taunter or something like that, you can follow it up with things like Animal Companion, Senjin, uh, Savannah Hymane, right? The true hunter legendary in this deck. Just lots of good ways to deal damage while still using your hero power while still hitting them with the bow to deal that damage and you'll find it surprisingly easy to deal 30 damage with this deck it can even often kill a control warrior although it is a tougher matchup uh, it does have a lot of reach now it is going to depend on exactly what you draw as to how you play things for example if you've got a knife juggler into an animal companion into a sanjin well, then you're kind of playing the tempo game. You're starting to look like a mid-range hunter, uh, but you'll end up picking up those removal pieces later. It's also worth mentioning exactly what Leroy does in this deck. No surprise, it's a good card here. Uh, I tried it out today actually for the first time in this particular list, and it's just super strong. You can use it as a finisher on its own along with your hero power. Use it with Faceless to get an extra bit of burst. Uh, unleash the Hounds. Obviously combos very well because you're able to take out the whelps and even sometimes with pyromancer I think I pulled off a Leroy pyromancer hunters mark play at some point uh, Just very good very versatile card in the deck uh, Can use it lots of ways not just as a finisher um, So that's kind of how the deck is played uh, Now matchup wise. I really want to highlight how well this does against zoo I've played so many games of this deck against Zoo, and I want to say it boasts something like an 80% win rate, 70-80%. Uh, 
Uh, it's just so consistent with tracking and so consistent at being able to sweep the board. And if you keep the board clear, then things like Deadly Shot and Hunter's Mark are able to take out Doom Guards, maybe Dark Iron Dwarves, things like that. Um, but really, I think any deck uh, this can face and do pretty well against. Of course, you're going to end up with some tougher matchups. Like I said, Control Warrior, pretty difficult. Uh, played against a lot of Freeze Mage, which uh, that can put a stop to this. Uh, but I do think there's a lot of flexibility in how you build this as well. This isn't necessarily the tightest, most perfect version of this list because I don't see people playing and tinkering with it too much, uh, at least not outside of our community here. Uh, for example, I think this Violet Teacher could be cut. I've kind of been looking for a replacement for it. Uh, I cut one of them to put in Leroy, uh, but I think this could go. Maybe you put in something like a Snipe to uh, to counter um, Miracle Rogues in particular. Uh, if you're facing a lot of them, especially a High Legend, that's going to be a thing. Um, a day like today where I faced a lot of Freeze Mage, you could swap that for a Flare even, which is also going to help with anything that's concealed. Uh, and I just think that there's a lot of other options. Even something like a Rag can fit into this deck. Maybe you could squeeze in Gladiator's Longbow. There's just so much potential here. I'm telling you, this deck is very, very good. I've climbed the Legend with predominantly this deck before. Every time I play it, I feel like I've got a really, really good win rate. Um, yeah, give it a go. Feel free to tweak it a bit. And... Uh, I'll show you one way that it's been tweaked already. And this is coming from NRS Nike. Uh, he built a pirate control version of this list. So everything I just said remains true. It's all played the same kind of style, but I really wanted to highlight it because you don't often get to play with this pirate package. And this is one of the few times it works. I personally only played with this version one time. It was very effective the time that I played it, but I know other viewers have played it with success as well. So I can't say if this would be better than the variant that I just showed you. Uh, maybe some blend of the two, but it's at least comparable. Uh, so the Pirate Package, Captain's Parrot, obviously going to be able to draw you Dread Corsairs, or it can draw uh, green skin for you. Greenskin's actually great with Eagle Horn Bow because you're going to be sitting on it waiting for secrets to activate so you can gain durability anyway. Um, but the advantage with Captain's Parrot here as well, having Starving Buzzard, you're going to be able to draw with that Beast Synergy. So just a little bit of extra help there. But yeah, plays very similar. Highly competitive deck. Highly recommend you try it and maybe even tweak it with some of the same things if you need a Snipe or a Flare or something like that. Now, getting away from control, what else can Hunter do? Well, mid-range Hunter, you definitely see from time to time. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it at some point. Good chance you've tried it. Um, I don't particularly love this deck. And it's not that it's terrible. You know, you'll see a lot of similarities to the decks that we just looked at. In the traps, the knife juggler, animal companion, bow, you know, a lot of staples of Hunter. It's pretty hard to break away from those core cards. Uh, I just feel like this is outclassed by the control Hunter in a lot of ways. I think it's just a superior version of the deck. Uh, I do like keeping this one deadly shot in just for those uh, those rogues. And I've got a flare here because I, I didn't really know uh, what else I'd want to maybe build up on. Though I think it could be a second Senjin as well because the taunts are sometimes helpful. Uh, this is played more just on curve, you know. You're going to be playing tracking on one usually if you've got it. Try to smooth out your curve a bit more. It's easy to hit something on two and three that you're going to play. And then hopefully you've got a beast on the board uh, for four. The dream is really to hound master a river croc, uh, potentially an animal companion. You get immediate damage to the face. You get the beef up minions that are already on the board. And then a 4-3 in itself, not too bad. So you can snowball that kind of tempo out of control with this deck. 
and it does very well against control heavy decks like control warrior which just have trouble getting value out of all of their removal uh, because as soon as they use one core piece of removal well you just put another valuable minion down and eventually they're out of it and you've been chipping away at their health and they just die that's kind of how this deck seems to go but the reason i'm not that fond of it is yeah i just think control hunter outclasses it and uh, there's better decks now i think you can climb with this if this is the style you like to play that kind of minion heavy on curve uh, tempo oriented uh, it's all right but uh i wouldn't expect to climb too high in legend if you're able to make it there uh yeah better better options in my opinion uh, now finally there is this face hunter everybody you know the memes the i'm sure you played against it you probably played with it back in the day you don't have to be ashamed to admit it lots of uh face hunters out there probably the most common variant of hunter that you do see and i think this deck is in a really weird place uh so it does what hunter does very well uh, especially from its hero power it just deals direct damage to heroes right almost everything in here is oriented to do that things that aren't are like hunter's mark but that's just to get through a taunt tracking is hopefully to dig for more damage you know the perfect lethal or a hunter's mark if you need it uh, or you're going to get off this like starving buzzard unleash the hounds combo refill your hand that kind of thing but there's not a lot of choices to make with this deck for the most part you're sending all your damage to face and the game is going to be decided by your opponent i think if you're playing against a skilled opponent with a good deck so something like control warrior you know a combo druid i think a skilled opponent is pretty likely to beat this deck you know sometimes you're gonna draw well they're not gonna draw well great you'll you'll win those games and they end fast either way whether you win or lose um but when you run up against more skilled players i do think that your skill cap is really limited with a deck like this so it's a great uh, beginner deck uh, you don't even need leroy as a legendary in here if you can't afford it for the dust um really good for learning the game really good for grinding out wins very very fast like i said games are just decided quickly so you can rank up pretty quick uh, but i think it starts to kind of flop around the time you hit maybe diamond or platinum depending on the time of the season and better decks are just going to beat it but why i think this is a really interesting list and it can even be tweaked for this reason is it very high levels of play uh for example top 50 legend or so you're going to be facing a ton of miracle rogues uh, most people who are competing for that kind of top 10 top 20 legend uh, they're playing miracle rogue or uh or something that counters miracle rogue and this will counter miracle rogue uh, it's not perfect you're not always going to get it but usually you can kill a rogue faster than they can kill you they're not able to spend time building up a combo you know a turn where they play a gadget sand and conceal it and do nothing else is too slow for them uh, because you're just going to continue sending damage their way with minions hero powers spells all kinds of stuff uh, so this does a really good job against decks like that and if you want to cater it specifically towards that matchup if you're already sitting around top 100 top 50 you can do things like swap this misdirection for a snipe yeah maybe you add a flare maybe you could even squeeze a deadly shot in here for the concealed gadgets in uh or some sort of buffed minion on board um I, i'm sure there's ways to uh to tech this to make it even more favorable in that matchup and make it less favorable in others but if that's predominantly what you're playing then overall your win rate is probably going to go up so i think this does have a really interesting place in the meta i don't necessarily recommend trying to do the full climb from bronze to legend with something like this but i think on either end of the spectrum something like this does uh, have a place and can see play
so those are four decks that kind of highlights what Hunter can do. I realize this video, I'm, I'm blabbering on more about Hunter than I have about any other class. And I, I really just think it's because there's so much that can be done with this control archetype. I would love to see more people get in there, tweak it, you know, find out what they uh, struggle with, uh, what matchups are good, uh, cater decks towards that. And if this started to show up in the meta more often, then I think you could actually get a real shakeup of things as people try to now counter control hunter something that uh, that kind of comes out of nowhere. So highly, highly recommend you at least give these two lists a try uh, and maybe even try to work in some face hunter. But I would I would caution away from this mid range hunter. Uh, that I actually see a, a decent amount of play from and, and go towards the other three. So hopefully something there that you'll enjoy playing. Uh, I would love to see more Hunter on ladder.